Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Don. In our today's video, we will try to solve radical equations. So we have here three different examples wherein we will try to find the specific value of x that will satisfy the given radical equations here in our whiteboard. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here number one, the square root of x minus 5 is equal to 4. Again, the square root of x minus 5 is equal to 4. So, before so starting solving this equation, we need to find first, or we need to determine first, what is the main problem, or ano yung nagiging cause, bakit mukha siyang mahirap, or bakit siyang magiging difficult para sa mga nag-solve ito. Una, yung radical sign. So, you, you will think, Sir, how are we going to solve that equation and meron siyang radical sign? Don't worry, meron tayong easy way para magawa yan. So, first step natin, guys, I need to copy the given equation first. We have the square root of x minus 5 is equal to 4. Ang kailangan natin gawin dito, guys, is to square both sides of the equation by 2. Or, ano natin siya? Erase natin siya by the exponent of 2. So, ang gagawin nyo ngayon dito is to square this part, yung whole radical natin by the exponent of 2, same with 4. We need to square it by, we need to square it. So, ano bang reason bakit natin kailangan square to? Ito kasi yan, guys. Um, kapag in-square natin itong radical na to, it will eliminate the radical side. Sir, paano pong, bakit po? So, imagine, if I'm going to convert this into exponential form or rational exponent, yung square root of x minus 5 natin is the same as x minus 5 raised to 1 half. Ito yan. And then we will square it. So, ang nangyayari dito guys, when you square this expression by 2, you will simply eliminate the, the, the denominator 2 and 2. And it will only give you x minus 5. In which, in the language of mathematics, wala na siyang radical. Okay? It will eliminate the radical. So, dito sa process natin, upon eliminating the radical, or upon squaring your radical by 2, we can simply eliminate the radical sign and this exponent, and it will only give us x minus 5. And for the other side of the equation, your fourth square natin is equal to 16. As you can see, from the square root of x minus 5, we have already eliminated the radical sign, in which yun yung naging cause, bakit sa so unang tingin pa lang, mukha na siyang mahirap isolve. Diba? So, we will continue. So, for, to solve for the value of x, we need to eliminate negative 5. And to, to do that, we need to add both sides of the equation by 5. So, it will become x minus 5 plus 5 is equal to 16 plus 5. And what will happen here? It will become 0. So, you have here x is equal to 21. And this 21 is the value of x for the given equation. Yun yung pinasagot natin. Now, if you want to check whether your answer is correct, let's do the checking. For this, for this equation lang. Pwede natin mag-spend ng time for checking. So imagine, if you will copy, if you will replace 20, x by 21, it goes like this. The square root of 21 minus 5. Remember ha, I'm replacing x by 21 because x is equal to 21. And we have here 4. So simplifying 21 by 5, that is 16. So it will give us the square root of 16. Is equal to 4. And remember, the square root of 16 is 4. And as you can see, they are equal. Ibig sabihin ito guys, our answers, or at the value of x is correct. Ganun lang siya simple. So I hope na nakuha yung a method natin on how to solve the first radical equation. And then let's move on with item number 2. For number 2, we have the square root of 2x minus 1 is equal to x. So first thing we need to do here is to square both sides of the equation. So square both sides of the equation here. And ito square lang natin to. Kahit wala ng parentheses. And what will happen here is we will eliminate this radical sign and this exponent. And it will give us the answer of 2x minus 1. And this is x squared. 
And as you can see, this wall is a quadratic equation. So what will happen next? What will happen next is we will um, write this equation in standard form. And the standard form of this is the same as x, x squared minus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, given this quadratic equation, guys, since meron tayong quadratic equations, so first thing kailangan natin gawin dito is by factoring. And luckily, this one is a perfect square trinomial. And the factors are x minus 1 times x minus 1 is equal to 0. Or we can simply uh, combine them because parehas naman sila, guys. This is, this is the same as x minus 1 squared is equal to 0. We're in. Kapag silawag natin to, simply yan lang siya. This is x minus 1 is equal to 0. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon dito is to we will use trans transpose transposition method. Transpose this on the other side. From negative, it will become positive. So, this is x is equal to 1. Ito na yung mismo sagot natin for this kind of equation. Now, if you want to check, check natin eh. Let us replace let us replace this by, ano, by yung original equation natin na 2x minus 1 is equal to x. That is our original equation. By replacing x by 1, that is the same as 2 times 1 minus 1 is equal to 1. And simplifying this, this will give you 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. And this is square root of 1 is equal to 1. And the square root of 1 is simply one. So they are equal. So kung mapansin nyo, the equations are equal. So we will eliminate this kasi kailangan din ng space. Now let us solve item number 3. For item number 3, we're given the cube root of x squared minus 4 minus 2 is equal to 0. This one is not a quite, uh, it's not a difficult problem. Kahit may makita kayo dito nga, no? Index of 3. So madali lang siya. So how are we going to solve this? Kung dito, the index of the radical here is 2, and we square it. If this one has the index of 3, all we need to do is to raise both sides of the equation. Now, let us solve item number 3. So, as you can see, we have here the index of 3. So, don't worry, because it's not that hard. We have the cube root of x squared minus 2. Minus 4 minus 2 is equal to 0. Ang first thing na kailangan natin gawin dito is to manipulate the equation. Kailangan, itong negative dito, um, mapunta siya sa kabilang side of the equation. And we will use transposition method. And upon manipulating this, it will give us the cube root of x squared minus 4 is equal to positive 2 or 2. So, the next question here, sir, what is the next step? Ang next step natin dito is to eliminate the radical sign. Kung dito kanina, we raised both sides of the equation by 2 because the index here is 2. We have here the invisible 2. Since dito, ang ating index is 3, what we need to do is to raise both sides of the equation by 3. So we can eliminate this, eliminate this, and this will give us x squared minus 4. And ito naman, yung 2 cube natin is the same as 8. Now, to solve for x, we need to manipulate the equation, transpose this to the other side. From negative, it will become positive. That's why our new equation is x squared is equal to 8 plus 4. And that is x squared is equal to 12. So next step natin dito guys, to solve for x is to extract the square roots. And given this, this is x. And syempre, since let's extract the square root, it will give us the positive negative sign. And yung square root of 12 natin is the same as 2 square root of 3. Sir, paano pa naging 2 square root of 3? Yung 12 natin can be factored out as... 4 times 3, and remember, the square root of 4 is 2. 
and this is 3. So we have here this one. Kaya syempre meron tayong positive and negative side. Now, eto na mismo sagot natin guys. Our answer here is x is equal to positive negative 2 square root of 3 or pares din siya bilang ganito. 2 square root of 3 or negative 2 square root of 3. Kahit na rin sa mga yan, pwede pwede. So, I hope na nakuha niyo yung technique natin on how to solve radical equations in this kind of problem. So, again, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but i-hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye! See you sa ating next video.